Offshore fish farms are an environmentally friendly method of producing seafood. Away from the shore, in the open ocean, they rely on the ocean's natural resources to keep the farm running. Locations with strong currents and abundant sunshine make the best offshore fish farms. When compared to typical fish farms, these farms take extensive steps to lessen their environmental impact. A number of challenges are limiting the global expansion of coastal fish farming. There are a number of issues that may arise from fish farming, such as the release of antibiotics, damaging algal blooms, the accumulation of waste feed and feces on the seafloor, fish escapes, sea lice, and the spread of illness from farmed fish to wild fish. Small fish need to be away from strong ocean currents in order to survive, so most of the fish farms are near land. This takes up valuable coastal areas that could be used for other things, like outdoor activities and recreation. Ocean One, Norway's first offshore fish farm, is a pioneering initiative. About 10 kilometers out to sea, the farm may be found in the North Sea. The annual output of the farm is 1,000 tons of fish. The farm is built on a unique floating platform that is fixed to the bottom of the ocean. The concrete and steel structure of the platform makes it resistant to severe weather. The farm plans to employ sustainable practices to raise fish. Organic food will be provided for the fish, and the water will be purified and recycled on a daily basis. The farm will also create jobs in areas that have been hit hard by the fishing industry's decline. By providing a steady market for seafood, it'll also aid in the conservation of wild fish populations. How will the Ocean One farm operate, and what are its goals? Salmar Acre Ocean is the company which has created the Ocean One farm. The Norwegian Food Safety Authority has ordered that Salmar Acre Ocean's first production cycle of its offshore fish farm be limited at a biomass of 9,000 tons. Ocean Farm 1, which uses Norwegian aquaculture and offshore technologies, hopes to solve the key problems limiting the industry's long-term development. This is because it's crucial to take fish biology and requirements into account while creating new aquaculture techniques. The Norwegian Food Safety Authority said in a news release that the applicant must provide evidence that all relevant factors relating to fish health and fish welfare are taken into account throughout the whole production chain. Due to the plant's planned location outside Norwegian national waters and beyond the scope of the EEA agreement, the Norwegian Food Safety Authority has made it abundantly apparent that the legislation regarding aquaculture at sea must be explained before final clearance can be given. When it comes to certain fish illnesses, Norway's free status under the veterinary rules of the EEA agreement is also threatened by the establishment of facilities beyond Norwegian territorial waters. This will be a deciding factor in whether or not Norway retains its exemption status for illnesses like VHS and IHN, among others, when it comes to an offshore facility. Salmar, a major agricultural company, and Acre, a prominent industrial firm, have joined forces to create Salmar Acre Ocean, a new company that aims to become a global leader in its industry. This company is a continuation of Salmar's long-term commitment to the aquaculture industry since it will operate in remote, weather-vulnerable locations at sea. The company has high hopes for Salmar Acre Ocean. For instance, by 2030, the company hopes to reach its goal of producing 150,000 metric tons of salmon yearly. This will also make the company a major player in the global salmon industry, which is amazing. Rapid development in recent years has resulted in fish farming contributing to more than half of Norway's total fishery output. The quantity of fresh water and the country's extensive coastline are two of Norway's most important geographical advantages, which have contributed greatly to the country's rapid economic development. Fish raised at Norwegian farms are among the healthiest in the world because of the advanced technology and care that goes into raising them. The government strictly controls the farms to make sure they're environmentally friendly. Norway's fish farming business is not only vital to the country's economy, but also among the most environmentally friendly in the world. 
The aquaculture business in Norway generates approximately $2 billion annually and provides jobs for over 7,000 people. Even though Norway is a major player in the global salmon industry, the country's fish farms are increasingly drawing criticism from activists concerned with environmental sustainability. But now, with recent technological advances and new methods, the salmon farms have reduced their ecological impact and grown more productive and sustainable. Norway's salmon producers are now taking steps to lessen their influence on the environment by switching to more sustainable feed. For instance, the new Ocean One fish farm uses a plant-based diet for its salmon. The fish are healthier, and the farm's carbon impact is less when they are fed with that sort of feed. Norway's salmon farmers are taking steps to ensure a long-term future for their sector, and one of them is the adoption of more eco-friendly feed. Pollution is a major issue when it comes to salmon aquaculture. Large doses of antibiotics and other chemicals are often used in salmon farms. Water pollution generated by these contaminants endangers the health of the area's marine life. Another concern which has a devastating impact on Norway's aquaculture business is the transmission of infectious illnesses from salmon farms to wild fish populations. The government is currently addressing these issues through the use of modern technologies and new, modern ways of fish farming. Another step toward resolving these issues is the installation of offshore fish farms. Larger, more industrialized fish farms have been established offshore in recent years. Norway has been on the front edge of this movement, and Norwegian companies are currently exploring ways to improve the efficiency of these offshore farms by using cutting-edge technology. One example of the use of this sort of technology is the employment of underwater fish cages that are anchored to the bottom of the ocean. The use of automatic machines, such as automated feeders and water quality monitors, may also be used to limit the amount of human engagement. As a result, disease spread will be limited. Farms located offshore have the additional advantage of being less susceptible to the negative impacts of the environment and the climate than their on-land equivalents. Because of this, both their productivity and its quality are far more constant. These innovative technologies, which are being pioneered by Norwegian companies, will transform the fish farming industry in the years to come. Recirculating aquaculture systems, often known as RAS, is also one example of the new technologies used by modern farms in Norway. An RAS is the one in which water is continuously recirculated and filtered, making it a far more effective means of fish farming than conventional techniques. Traditional fish farms use more water, need more area, and emit more greenhouse gas emissions than RAS systems do. RAS systems also consume less land, which is an added benefit. Aquaponics, sometimes known as water gardening, is a way of cultivating plants and animals in the same integrated system. The plants get nutrients from the fish excrement, while the fish benefit from cleaner water because of the plant's role in filtering the water. The system is also being used in these new farms to improve the health and quality of the fish and meat. The use of lasers in the process of removing sea lice from salmon is one of the most recent developments in the industry. Salmon farms have a major problem with sea lice since they may spread disease and even kill the fish if left unchecked. The use of these innovative technologies and the establishment of new offshore farms in Norway will alleviate all of the issues currently faced by the Norwegian fishing industry. These offshore farms will use nutrients from the sea rather than land. This kind of farming is incredibly successful and does not need the use of toxic pesticides. The farms may also produce a variety of fish that can be shipped throughout the world.